Hey, good morning, everybody. Flashly meteorologist Dave Downey here. Melissa now a category five hurricane and she is still strengthening throughout much of the day on Sunday. She kind of plateaued in strength, but that has certainly changed overnight Sunday and now Monday morning recording this just about 10 a.m. on satellite. This is as perfect of a storm in terms of meteorological structure that you can get. Look at this eye, one of the warmest eyes ever recorded in the Atlantic Basin, warm in terms of clouds clearing out of the eye. The storm really just a perfect structure, and that is why it's strengthening so rapidly this morning. There are hurricane hunters, brave souls in this storm right now, sampling the storm. The latest center fix, 907 millibars. That's the strongest storm in the Atlantic thus far this year. And one of the drop signs they released, they released these giant cylinders into the storm to measure a little closer in terms of how strong the storm is, wind speed and pressure, measured a surface wind speed of 151 knots. That translates to about 175 miles per hour. You see in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, that the latest advisory from the Hurricane Center listed as a 160 mile per hour category five. Of course, there's no category six, but when the next advisory comes out at 11 a.m. Eastern time, 10 a.m. Jamaican time, I would venture to guess that they are going to raise the intensity from the current 160 miles per hour. And what is that? 913 millibars that is already dropped six millibars since the last pass by the hurricane hunters. This is an incredibly intense storm. It will be the strongest storm. We've talked about this to make landfall on the island of Jamaica in recorded history. Here's the close range radar loop. You see the eye there very well defined. This eye wall has been strengthening right here is where there are likely wind gusts, potentially upwards of 200 miles per hour and sustained winds, as we mentioned between about 165 and 175. Later on today, Melissa is going to take the eventual bend from the west to the northeast and then set her sights on the island of Jamaica. This is the HAFS A model making a landfall tomorrow late morning. It's even underdoing the intensity a little bit. Here we are at 10 a.m., 11 a.m. Eastern time. It thinks the pressure is 920. As we mentioned, the pressure right now is 907. We don't know how deep in terms of strength. When we say a storm is deepening or it's a deep storm, that means its pressure number is very low. And this is well into the bounds of a Category 5 hurricane. There's the turn north and eventually northeast. The HAFS A model has a landfall. This is 11 a.m. Eastern time, 10 a.m. Jamaican local time Tuesday morning. The HAFS B model a little faster. This is 8 a.m. local time. So landfall likely going to be between about 7.30 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. local time on Tuesday morning, but conditions will rapidly deteriorate before then. A lot of folks in yesterday's live stream asking about the steering. What is causing Melissa to take this turn, what seems some from the outside, magically from the northeast? From an outsider's perspective, it's like, how come this storm is magically going west? And then all of a sudden it turns northeast. It's what's going on across the United States is what's causing this. So the past couple of days, Melissa being steered by this ridge off in New Mexico, this area of high pressure and this weakening high pressure near the Leeward Islands. This clockwise flow around this high from east to west is what caused Melissa to meander slowly to the west. It's kind of in between these two steering currents. So that's why it's been moving so slowly. But you see here by later on this afternoon, Monday afternoon, here's Melissa. And here comes a long wave trough moving across the eastern U.S. You see some connection happening here across the Straits of Florida. Even more connection, if you will, happens throughout the day on Tuesday as this area of low pressure across the U.S. starts to dive southeast. And as it does that, Melissa feels that and wants to get picked up to the northeast. That's why it makes landfall on the western half of the island on Tuesday and then picks up speed as it gets closer to this area of low pressure between North Carolina and Bermuda 
and a deepening, much stronger area of low pressure across the central Great Plains of the U.S. That's what causes its northeastward movement, and eventually it's going to affect Cuba, the southeastern Bahamas, potentially the Turks and Caicos, and also, this is Bermuda out here, Bermuda is going to have to watch out for Melissa on Friday. All right, impacts. The good news since yesterday, the National Hurricane Center and the Weather Prediction Center have actually downtrended the total rainfall forecast since yesterday. This said isolated 40 inches. Some rain has already fallen, of course, but this is storm total rainfall upwards of three feet close to in some spots upwards of a meter of rain, especially in the mountainous areas of Jamaica. The key messages, we talked about this yesterday. This is as dire language as you're going to get from the Hurricane Center. Do not venture out of your safe shelter. Catastrophic and life-threatening flash flooding with those landslides, mudslides, etc. Today through Tuesday night, destructive winds, especially in the mountains. Wind increases with height, so the higher you are in Jamaica, the stronger those winds get. And we're expecting extensive infrastructural damage, long-lasting power, communication outages, and isolated communities. Some of the island of Jamaica will be uninhabitable for weeks, if not months. Wherever the core comes ashore of Melissa, where that eye wall comes ashore, you're talking about complete destruction with winds over 160 miles per hour. And then anywhere along the southern coast, the storm surge the hurricane literally pushing water inland is going to cause catastrophic damage along that southern coast through Tuesday. Hurricane warning up for eastern Cuba. Hurricane watch up for the southeastern Bahamas, including the Turks and Caicos. And as we mentioned, Bermuda is going to have to keep an eye on Melissa, especially on Friday as well. Download the Flash app. We'll have live coverage later on today with live cameras. See Jamaica doing an incredible job. As long as these cameras stay up, some wind could cause some power outages, communication outages, etc. We'll be live covering the storm through its duration. Prayers for Jamaica. This is going to be the worst storm to hit Jamaica in modern times.